Chipara here, and today we have another figure unboxing. This time it is for the DC Super Pets movie that came out um, actually last year, but uh, in terms of the toys, they're actually heavily discounted on Amazon, and you can get a lot of these Amazon exclusive uh, figure packs uh, that were tie-ins to the movie for the cheap. So some of them are like five, six, or under 10 bucks, and they come with some really great figures that um, even if you don't like the movie, even if you didn't see the movie, but are a DC fan or a superhero fan, you could appreciate. So I'm going to do a figure unboxing for this superhero and action pet gift set. Again, I think this this pack, even though the figures are not exclusive to Amazon, this figure set, I believe, was. Uh, these figures come to us from Fisher Price. They are, once again, for the DC Super Pets movie that came out, I believe, in 2022. Um, but uh, in terms of the figures themselves, uh, they come shipped from Amazon in this box right here that is very kind of plain, um, at least from the shipping box. But it's got it's got crypto. Uh, right there on the front that is Superman's dog and Super Pet. And of course, you've got the DC logo on the side. On the top of the box, uh, it has the logo for the DC League of Super Pets, uh, which is actually, I believe, the full name of the, uh, the, the film. On the bottom, you've got the kind of the, uh, the rest of that picture of Crypto. And on the back, you've got another image of Crypto kind of giving his, his little eye over there. Almost looks like, uh, since the, the crypto was voiced by Dwayne Johnson, kind of gives that little eyebrow, honestly. Um, so other than that, very uh, uh, nothing very non-discreet. So with that, let's get this open and see what's inside. Okay. So I was hoping for like another box inside, but it really is just the figures kind of packed in there with Ziploc bags. Um, I mean, for the price, guys, this this I uh, purchased on Amazon for six dollars. So for six dollars, you got four figures. And I mean, just taking a look at it, they are pretty. Uh, they're pretty decent looking. I think they're they've got a lot of character. And for for six bucks, guys, you can't uh, go wrong. So um, for those that like the DC Superpowers line, I think this is a close equivalent, um, and in my opinion, could be even better. So let's get these out of their uh, bags and out of this little cardboard box and see uh, what they look like. So first we've got Batman and he's got that stylistic choice they had for the movie. Uh, kind of that like broad uh, chin that juts out. Um, and instead of having the kind of yellow uh, behind the symbol, he's just got the straight uh, black um, bat signal on his chest. Um, he doesn't look like he's got colored boots. I do not know if that was a, a style of choice that was from the movie or just something for the toy. Um, but I think it looks cute. Um, he doesn't have much articulation. Um, his uh, his hands uh, can be adjustable and can twist around 360 degrees. Same thing with the arms. Um, legs just have one point of articulation. The legs don't bend at the knees. The head can turn as well. Um, he comes with, actually, let's, before we get into the accessory, he's got that kind of vinyl cape um, that actually feels pretty good. And I think it's in terms of how it's kind of glued on to the, the cowl, uh, works well. So he comes with a little, uh, looks like some type of battering accessory, could even be like a grappling hook. I'm assuming this can go right into his hand. And he's got his grappling hook. And looks great. Looks fine. Um, again, these are six bucks, guys. So you're not going to be expecting something that is as impressive as a McFarlane. And maybe even uh, not as articulate or as expansive as a Spin Master. These are from Fisher Price. So they're meant to be for kids that are younger in age um, in terms of that demographic. So we got Batman out of the way. Let's get his pet right next to him. Okay, and here is Ace, uh, who is Batman's dog or becomes Batman's dog by the end of the movie. Spoiler alert, a spoiler alert, I should say. Um, so Ace, um, again, cute looking figure. Um, he's got like some type of action feature. 
as you can see here, his his front legs kind of uh, spiral up and down, or they've got this kind of like spring effect to it. Uh, but I don't know of any way to activate it besides just doing it manually. I don't see any type of button or kind of clear way to to activate it. Um, he's got that same vinyl cape. Um, his his back legs, it looks like they are molded on there, so you can't move them. It's just the front legs that are again on that spring action. Uh, his head turns, but other than that, um, he doesn't have any set action features. He comes with a frisbee, but absent being able to like open his mouth, which you cannot do, and absent a way of actually having a clear way to hold the frisbee, it's just kind of there as a display piece on the side, and it's got that bad signal. So with that, let's put Ace to the side and open up Superman. Okay, so Superman uh, comes with no accessories, but I mean, Superman doesn't need any weapons because he's Superman. Um, he's got, in terms of the look of this figure, and I don't know if this is a variant or if that's how his design is in the movie, I'd have to go back and look, uh, but he's got kind of like a darker hue of red, almost a black, which kind of gives him the impression of the very old, uh, of the original Superman costume they started out in the comics. And he's got a great look to him, same vinyl cape. He's got the red boots with the yellow lining, uh, yellow belt and wristbands, his hands turn. He's got the same points of articulation as Batman with the head turn and the, um, the minimal articulation, but still a good looking figure. Um, I think that, uh, uh, again, if you're going to, if you want something to display, these really capture your eye. I think they've got a lot of uh, pop to the colors uh, and they've got a simplicity to it that has a lot of character. So like the Superman toy, I highly recommend purchasing these. These are six bucks, guys, as I keep on saying. So with that, let's get out Crypto. So with opening up Crypto, guys, um, I noticed in terms of how the action feature works because these figures don't come with any type of instructions. So if you are able to put one of uh, Ace's hind legs up like that, this is the action feature that happens in terms of how it's activated. You press his other leg, which would be his right leg, down, and he, or actually just pull it up, and this leg goes down. So that's the action feature. I'll show it one more time, and it goes down. So I think that's pretty neat, having that little action feature. So I wonder, oh, there we go clearly clearly right there he can hold the frisbee so watch out he's gonna throw the frisbee so they can hold the frisbees okay that's cool i do like that even more now can he stand and hold the frisbee i doubt that oh he does oh i like that so there we go the dogs can hold the frisbees so with crypto it works the same way crypto does come with these accessories and he actually looks awesome with the the kind of the wall breaking so you pull those apart let's take a look at crypto he's got a lot of character as he should be he's the star of the movie and same thing um pull up on his leg or actually maybe pull down this time okay we'll figure this out squeeze we'll figure this out somehow okay oh it goes upward this time okay so press it down or pull it up yep there we go do one more time pull it down pull it up okay now i got it pull it up yep so he's kind of got this kind of foot action uh motion uh going on he doesn't have the frisbee but of course he can necessarily break open um that brick wall so same thing uh, as Ace, you can't do anything with the legs, but again, with that action feature and um, uh, his accessories, uh, it works fine. So as I say, guys, this is a great little line. Um, there's actually, a, a, of course, a, a Wonder Woman in this line, uh, which I'm actually pondering to pick it up, but uh, maybe I'll just stay with these figures. $6, they give a lot of uh, nostalgia in terms of if you remember the Disney Playmates figures for like Darkwing Duck that came back uh, came out in the early 90s uh, the Ninja Turtles I mean these will look great next to those in terms of having that same type of uh, early animation style of the of the 90s uh, of those figures 
those very plastic looking, simplistic, uh, very uh, uh, simple action features, very simple looking um, designs to the figure. So highly recommend picking this up, guys. I do like these for the price points that you're getting these cleared out on Amazon. They're kind of a no brainer and being able to display these on a shelf uh, really look great. So that does it for me, guys. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.